everyone, and welcome to Season 4, Episode 41 of Pro Wrestling's Top 50. I'm your host, Travis McNeil, and today we continue our countdown of the Top 50 matches in Lucha Underground history with match number 10 on our list. We're officially in the Top 10. And today's match was a three-way match for the Lucha Underground Championship between the champion, Mil Muertes, and the challengers, Prince Puma and Pentagon Dark, from the March 9th, 2016 edition of Lucha Underground titled Death Comes in Threes. Um, this was the match that kicked Season 2 of Lucha Underground into overdrive. It, it started good, right? Coming out of a hot Season 1, you know, quite a bit of a wait for Season 2. That hype kind of built and, and it finally debuted. Had a really good feel to it. You know, I was digging it. I think most people were digging it. Uh, but this was the match that started a really great period. Three back-to-back -back excellent weeks of Lucha Underground, which really, you know, kicked the program back into full swing again. Um, this match is a big-time title match. It is an excellent three-way match um, and between arguably, arguably the three biggest faces of Lucha Underground ever, uh, especially at that time, right, in Season 2. Uh, so basically our story here, uh, Mil Moritz won the Lucha Underground Championship at the end of Ultima Lucha in Season 1 from Prince Puma, who was the first champion. Uh, you know all that. We've covered those matches in our videos so far. Um, season 2, uh, we got a match early on in the season between Puma and Pentagon. A match that I think everybody was really, really excited for. Um, that ultimately it wasn't great. It only went about 8 minutes. It ended on kind of like a fluky double pin sort of situation, you know, with one of them just kind of getting their shoulder up at the last second. Uh, it fell well below expectations. So uh, here is our match where because of, you know, um, Puma and, and Pentagon never really got to prove who the better man was. And we would see that kind of carried into season three with them. Um, you know, they would both get the title shot here against Mill. Uh, clearly his toughest challenge yet as champion. Uh, they do a really good job with this match establishing that tension between Puma and Pentagon that they're really the two that are feuding at this point. And, you know, Mill, even though he's the champion, they both want the belt. You know, Puma especially has history with Mill. They do get a little preoccupied with each other at times. And ultimately, that's what creates the opening that allows Mill to successfully retain his title here. Um, this match, it starts good with both the faces double-teaming Mill. Um, he manages to fight back a little bit. Uh, we get some really cool, unexpected dives. I always like, you know, rather than your typical kind of dive sequence where every guy hits a dive, you know, one after the other. Uh, I like when dives come out of nowhere, and that's what they did here. Penta was on the floor. Um, Puma came running in. Mill went for a big clothesline. Puma ducked it and hit a tope to the floor into a DDT on Pentagon. And then uh, Mil Muertes proceeded to just hit a, a Piscato onto both of them, but it was so unexpected and out of nowhere. It was a really, really cool take on, you know, a dive sequence that you would normally see in multi-man matches, especially, you know, in Lucha Underground. Um, Mil Muertes, he knows that his back is against the wall in this match, and he tries to make it very much his match. He tries to put one guy out and then go to the other and make sure he has eyes in the back of his head. He tries to make it more of a brawl. He takes both these guys up for the you know up through the crowd and he does what he has to do to try to retain his title. Um, we get some crazy big spots on the floor that are all really cool. A lot of them involving the guardrails, right? The elevated guardrails. Um, at one point, uh, Prince Puma kind of walks down a handrail and then hits a Hurricane Rana on Pentagon, which was super cool. Um, Pentagon hits a big cross body off a rail onto Mill. Uh, Puma hits a shooting star press off the elevated guardrail onto them both, which was awesome. Um, and we run into a really fun finishing sequence. Um, you know, at this point, it kind of, you know, kind of felt like Mill wasn't ready to lose the title. So, I mean... You know, the, the expectation coming into this match would be that he would retain, um, possibly, you know, through some sort of shenanigans with Katrina. Um, but they really put a lot of doubt in the viewer uh, with some of the near falls that they had at the end. It was all really well done. Uh, Puma hits the 630 on Pentagon and Mill's just able to break it at the last second. Um, Mill goes for the flatliner, uh, but Penta is able to, to prevent it from happening. And both the faces, again, you know, the teamwork, they basically hit like a super kick party, like Young Buck style. Uh, just loads of super kicks on Mill to put him out. They go back to fighting each other. Pentagon hits the Pentagon driver on Puma for two. 
Um, kind of frustrated that he kicked out, hits the package pile driver, and then makes the critical mistake that would cost him the match. We talked about the feud between these two, how they'd been building that budding rivalry to try to figure out who was the better of the two of them. Um, so rather than go for the win, Pentagon goes for his signature arm break on Puma instead. Takes it a little bit too far, but taking that extra time to set up that move, uh, it allows Mill to recover from all the super kicks, hit a spear on Pentagon, take an already weakened Puma, and now weakened Pentagon, drill them both with a double flatliner, right? The flatliner being Mill's uh, finishing maneuver, and allow him to get the one, two, three, uh, which was a great finish. It made Mill look so strong that even though we kind of snuck back in at the last second, you know, he was able to beat both of these guys and hitting the, the finisher on both of them at the same time was genius because it allowed him to cover one, but you know, no, he was able to break up those near falls that these guys were getting on each other. So by hitting the finishing move on both of them, it allowed him to pin one without the other being able to break it up. It was great. It put over the flatliner as this ultimate, you know, murder, death, kill, you know, move in the Lucha Underground universe as if it wasn't already at that point. Um, it, it, and again, it, it basically shows that, you know, Pentagon, uh, because of this beef that he had going on with Puma, ultimately cost himself the match. And, you know, it was interesting to see where, where that would go. And like I said, they kind of cooled off on the rivalry between those two before kicking it back in with the Cueto Cup Finals and with what would go down at the end of Ultima Lucha 3, um, where Pentagon would essentially ca cash in the Gift of the Gods and, uh, you know, end uh, Prince Puma's career and put him out of Lucha Underground. Um, after this match, though, uh, we get a promo from Phoenix, who was the current Gift of the Gods champion, basically declaring that he was going to cash in against Mil Muertes on next week's broadcast. You know, Mil having went through this brutal war of a three-way match against two high-quality talent, it left him weak. Um, it was almost one year exactly to the day of their Grave Consequences match, uh, so it kind of had that historical value, too, because Phoenix won that match. Um, so, you know, Phoenix, he called this spot and ultimately it would prove out to be worthwhile as he would become the Lucha Underground Championship on the following episode. Uh, this match is so much fun. It is a great package. Uh, as with everything Lucha Underground, depending on where you live, you might be able to find it on Tubi. But if not, you can find these matches with a quick Google search. You can subscribe to my channel here on YouTube so that you never miss a video. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Wrestling50. And please join me again tomorrow as we continue to count down Pro Wrestling's Top 50. Oh,